Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I just want to briefly kind of go over uh, essentially how we track results for brands that we work with in, in the e-com space, okay? So th this this is sort of, this gives this gives the 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 client um, and and this is something that they can view on a daily basis as well because they get they they uh, we, we share this sheet with them and they're able to sort of they they're they're very much up to date about how their spend is working out in terms of the ROI and getting more kind of micro with the actual uh, metrics that make up their return. On their investment essentially okay so this is a brand we've been working with since sort of february you can see here so the entire month of february we got like this amount of link clicks the cost per click was this the ctor uh was this cpms yada 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 you can see here what they spent how many purchases they got uh the the sort of purchase conversion value the roi essentially on that what the conversion rate was on the website the average order value and the cost per acquisition okay so you can see here we're in may here and you know as you track this data we're able to you know show and prove what is actually going on in the account and are things improving or are they uh slowing down uh, we may be able to see certain trends like if the cta is uh if the CTR, should I say, if the CTR is increasing, um, is is the CPC um, maybe reducing? Because that's one of the reasons why CPC does reduce is because the CTR, uh, if you're increasing the CTR, uh, you know, the CPC can go down, which basically helps with this metric here, which is the CPA. So it kind of lowers the, the cost per acquisition. Okay. Same with... Uh, same with the example for the, the conversion rate, like are the conversion rates staying at the sort of standard that we're looking for? Is there a drop off? If we can convert more of the traffic that we're sending, uh, that helps with the ROI as well. If we can increase the average order value, okay, if we can increase this metric as well, along with this, this helps with the ROI as well. It reduces CPA, and we can get them if they're if it costs less to acquire a customer and we're getting them to spend more per transaction and we're getting more of those the you know the traffic that we're sending uh to to to, to convert more essentially this all helps with ROI. so on a daily basis you can see here what's going on how it's performing um sometimes when you're running ads uh or there may be certain things that are going on in the industry where it gets quiet it essentially just gets quiet for a few days and you know you you can you can bear that in mind if if you have a drop off in conversion rate for example or this the ctr is is reduced uh so there's less traffic all of a sudden click there's less there are less people clicking on our ads even though that they're performing well you might see a drop off all of a sudden in a few days for a few days uh why is that happening it could be because there is some major event going on like i i one of the, one time we were dealing with with a, a client where the the world cup was on i think it was like one of the you know like a final and uh yeah there was a drop off in traffic reason being is because nobody was on their phones out actively shopping in the region that we were targeting because they were uh, very much focused or a lot of people were focused essentially on, on looking at that event so that's why there was a drop off in a, a major drop off in, in the CTR, even though that were, our ads were running um, perfectly fine previous to that, but then it, it kind of came back in again because the demand was there and our ads were able to sort of meet the audience, which, you know, pre-qualified them, sold them onto the idea of what we were offering. And eventually, you know, it just continued to make the purchases. Okay. So yeah, you can see here, this is from May, but like if you go, if you go here to April, for example, you'll see just more uh, defined data here. And like I said, we can compare on a daily basis how things are working out, okay? And then also to on a monthly basis. So this is just, it's something that maybe you might want to use in time as well. But uh, I suggest if you're looking to sort of track correctly, this is what you need to do. Okay, I hope the video was helpful. Talk soon.